Welcome to Hawks TV. Today we've got Gary Irvin up here in beautiful Mount Kira. First of all, last week's game against New Zealand. It was a pretty big game. You guys came through. Uh, can you just tell us about that game? It was a great effort, you know, by our whole team, you know, which last year we kind of struggled on the road, you know, from what a lot of people say. And to come to this season, we're playing awesome on the road. And I think that's something that, you know, you got to tip your hats off to our team and to our coach Gordy about. And going into that game, you guys were still thought of as underdogs. All year you've been labeled underdogs. When do you guys become the team to beat? To us, we can stay underdogs. You know, I don't think that's something that we worry about. You know, we can't control that. We can't control what people think. As long as we go out and play with the great effort, with the great effort and intensity throughout the 40 minutes of basketball, that's the only thing we can control. I mean, right now we're in first place. We're playing great basketball, and that's just something that we're going to continue to do. You guys have got an awesome home record. I think it's 13 games going back to last season. Uh, what's it feel like to play in an atmosphere here in Wollongong? compared to the place you've been on the road now? It's awesome, you know. Basically, really, they're going for us and not for the other team, but uh, it's been great on the road, you know, looking at some of the things that the crowd like to do, but it's nothing like playing at home. You know, it's a great, great crowd. You know, they're behind us when, when we need that extra boost, when we're kind of slacking a little bit, and um, it's just our six man. You know, that's just something where we need a basket, you know, and the crowd gets into it, it helps us a lot. You got Sydney next game. Talk to me about the Sydney rivalry. What do you know about that? I don't know nothing about it, honestly. Only thing I do know <laughs> is that one of my teammates, Glenn Slav, used to play for them, which is, you know, kind of great that he's on 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 this end right now. But other than that, I just know about rivalries from playing college basketball. So I know it's always intense, hard fouling, a lot of trash talking, and that's just something that's you know part of rivalry basketball. I think you're supposed to hate them. Do you hate them yet? You have to go into this game hating them. You can't just play against Sydney and just be like willy nilly. Yeah, we beat Sydney. This is, this is a big, big time game. You gotta. We need some hate. Do I gotta hate them more than Perth? <laughs> 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 now, I mean, you know, I play for the Wollongong Hawks, and I know all about rivalries. And yeah, I don't really like the Sydney Kings at all. <laughs> so Gary, you grew up on the main streets of New York. I actually grew up around here. The main streets up up in Mount Kira, so we have that in common, yeah. Uh, I don't know about that one. It's a, a beautiful sight, though. You know, totally different from New York, but you know, it, it's great in a lot of different ways. You know, from coming from New York, a busy city, to coming to a place like Willagong. You seen any any of the na natural animals around here? Uh, not as of yet. You know, I got a lot of people back home that kind of jokes around about alligators and, you know, uh, kangaroos and things like that. And I told them I haven't seen it yet. They act like they're kind of surprised. Now, while we're talking about Sydney and Wollongong, now, before you came to Australia, I guess you didn't have much idea about where you were going and uh, where you could end up. But you've travelled around now. You've been to Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, New Zealand. How lucky do you feel that you wound up in Wollongong having seen a bit more of the country now? Um, like you said, coming here, I didn't know nothing. I just thought it was just a lot of land and animals, honestly. But as as we traveled throughout the season, you know, I got to see different parts of, you know, Australia, like you said, and every every bit of it is, is more exciting as I, as I come along. And right now, I'm not just saying it, but I like Willagong a lot because it's just more laid back. And I guess I've been here and spent a lot more time since I've been here. I love the gong. Do you love the gong? If so, purchase one of the We Love the Gong t-shirts. All right, before we go, I just want to ask you a favor. And I was just hoping if you could say on camera, if you could promise the fans that you'll never play for the Sydney Kings. For a million dollars or whatever. Just, in, you know, no rules. Just, you, you'll never no, play for them. you never play no for them. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a difficult one, but you know. Sam said it too. <laughs> So if I renege, um, oh, it's okay. It's fine. I might be allowed back. Everyone that's gone there has come back. But I don't think you should Ups, want me to say that. Ups, no. But I don't think you should want me to say that on camera because it might be a jinx and they might yes. one day just try to offer me just because, <laughs> just because they seen true, this true. And, and, and make it bad. So I don't think you could make really a lot of money out of that though. They could, they could throw a lot of, a lot of coin your way. Yeah. Um, 
but you're not going to play for him, so it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll never play for the Sydney Kings. I, I can go with that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Thanks. <laughs>